All right, here we are Tuesday and uh, take a look at this first alert weather radar here and uh, boy that is a powerful radar picture because there's a lot of green out there indicating a lot of rain. I think a lot of people are just wondering how long this is going to last. I mean, our chief was showing us earlier this morning, Rachel, that it seems to be a little bit of a stretch here. 100% just looking ahead at the week and I'll show you guys. So we just showed you radar certainly active today and then looking ahead. I at least want to give you a preview of the next four days to give you an idea of what we're expecting goes right in line with what chief meteorologist Al Conklin was talking about this morning, how we've got a first alert in place for Wednesday. Thursday actually should be a pretty nice day and then Friday and Saturday first alerts back in place. Once again, we're expecting at least scattered showers and the potential even for some thunderstorms as we near the end of the work week head back into the weekend unsettled pattern to say the least. Grab the first little weather app if you haven't already really useful, especially in situations like today. If you've got some lunch plans, you're just about to head out the door. You can check radar before doing so, but also we appreciate you tuning in. I'll show you where we're seeing most of the rain at this point. We'll zoom in a little bit closer and grab that WBTV radar. It's picking up on some of the showers that we were having over the Charlotte Metro. The last time we checked in was probably about 15 minutes ago at this point. A lot of this rain was still south and east of Charlotte at this point. It's mainly along in north of I-85. You see some pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall. Zoom in a little bit closer here. Take you street level. That's east of Huntersville as you travel to the west there of I-85 over Cox Mill. Seeing most of that. The Charlotte Motor Speedway getting a little bit of light rain as well. Farther out towards the west. So Gaston County, Cleveland County. If you're listening in from Shelby, that's a spot. We're seeing some of these showers right along 321 through Lincolnton. Seeing some rain. Really Iredell County for the most part south of the I-40 corridor. You're running into some rain as well. This extends all the way up I-85 from Kannapolis into Salisbury. A lot of this is going to be lifting northeast. So here's five o'clock, so give or take, and you'll see most of the rain out of our area, but we could start to see some additional showers develop out towards the west, and then eventually we get towards 11 o'clock and then into tomorrow morning, and we're going to see some scattered showers and maybe even some thunderstorms. We'll watch that potential. I think the best chance of that would actually be by the evening. So Wednesday, it's not going to start as rainy as what we've had today, but could end rainier than what we're going to have later on this evening. Either way, the thing to know, you'll want the umbrella here the rest of the week outside of Thursday, and you'll want to keep the first alert weather app handy, especially since we do have an isolated risk for a strong to severe storm. Now, the best chance of that today, I think, is going to be to the south of Charlotte. That level two out of five risk for severe weather, I think, places that risk well. We're going to have that greater chance of seeing some damaging wind gusts, hail, and that tornado threat. But this is new as of today. The Storm Prediction Center highlighting our entire area. And this makes sense. We're going to have more fuel to work with. It's going to be a little warmer tomorrow as well with that level one out of five risk for severe weather on Wednesday. We'll keep an eye on things. Keep you posted. If anything looks to intensify, it's finally getting a little bit of visibility there. It's our HD tower camera looking east. Typically, you'd see our skyline. You don't see that right now, but starting to see some of the buildings at the ground. But temperatures will barely reach the low 70s this afternoon, and it may be a few degrees below that, just depending on where that warm front is to our south. Either way, the coverage of rain will decrease eventually may hear a few rumbles of thunder. We're going to keep that isolated risk for a strong to severe storm in the forecast today. Tomorrow temperatures should be back into the 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Thursday, if you just had one day to be able to get outside, if you've got some outdoor plans, you don't have to worry about the rain. Thursday's your day because Friday and Saturday we've got first alerts back in place and I'm watching Sunday closely. And I think as I look at some of that latest data that comes in here this afternoon, check back in at four. We may increase those rain chances as well. So we'll keep an eye on that forecast over the course of the next few days.